Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Skyrise 1 awarded special airworthiness cert. Sunglider Horus A completes first flight test. And Lilium fires up first EVTOL jet. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Skyrise 1 awarded special airworthiness cert. Skyrise has been granted a special airworthiness certificate for its Skyrise 1 helicopter. This moves the aircraft one step closer to FAA certification and production launch. Skyrise 1, built on a Robinson R66 frame, made its public debut in February 2024. It is an IFR-capable, triply redundant fly-by-wire helicopter that operates with a single swipe on its touchscreen. The helicopter replaces traditional mechanical controls with a four-axis control stick like that of an F-35. The company claims that the Skyrise 1 will be priced at half the cost of other IFR-certified choppers. These capabilities rely on Skyrise's SkyOS with the fully digitized Sky Sentinel fly-by-wire backbone. The company began development and flight tests of the system in 2016 with the goal of improving safety and simplicity of flight. It's designed to be a universal operating system for any aircraft, including helicopters and airplanes. SkyOS utilizes deterministic AI design software. The single display, containing everything from controls to circuit breakers, features 3D synthetic vision with terrain alerting and dynamic envelope protection. This provides enhanced awareness and keeps the rotorcraft stable at all times, even without pilot input. It also automatically responds to power failures by entering auto rotation, managing glide, and landing while maintaining pilot control. After the break, Urban Link orders 20 Aviation Alice aircraft. The legendary BD 4 seat program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD 4 CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD 4 c that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Urban Link orders 20 Aviation Alice aircraft. Urban Link Air Mobility, based in South Florida, announced it will purchase 10 of Aviation's Alice aircraft, a zero-emission, nine-passenger commuter aircraft, with the option to purchase 10 additional aircraft. The Alice will enable commuter flights up to 250 nautical miles nonstop. Aviation Aircraft is based in Arlington, Washington, and develops and manufactures electric aircraft that provide operators and passengers with convenient, cost-effective, and green regional transportation. Urban Link also owns 20 Lilium EVTOL jets and has developed partnerships with regional vertiports in key markets. Maiman Aerospace demos autonomous turbine VTOL flight tests. Maiman Aerospace announced the successful demonstration of flight tests of its Razor VTOL testbed vehicle at a military facility in Southern California. The Razor VTOL incorporates the same propulsion, engine gimbaling, thrust vectoring, and flight control technologies as the Razor P100. 
The flight test validated key systems including avionics, thrust vectoring, flight control laws, software, and command and control mechanisms. A significant aspect of this series focused on transitioning from hover to high-speed winged flight. The test also confirmed successful autonomous takeoffs and landings. Toyota announces $500 million Joby investment. Toyota Motor Corporation has confirmed plans to invest an additional $500 million in Joby Aviation to aid in the certification and production of electric air taxis. The payment will be split in half, with the first made later this year and the second sometime in 2025. The cash deal brings Toyota's investment total to $894 million in Joby Aviation. Toyota owns 10% of the company's shares, making it the largest external Joby shareholder and second largest general shareholder. Venus VDR-2 Detonation Ramjet Engine Unveiled Venus Aerospace revealed its Venus Detonation Ramjet 2,000-pound thrust engine, referred to as VDR-2. The engine signifies a major breakthrough in propulsion systems for high-speed vehicles. The VDR-2 enables high-speed vehicles such as aircraft and drones to traverse long distances at high altitudes while achieving high Mach speeds with unmatched efficiency. It combines high thrust and efficiency of the rotating detonation rocket engine with the high efficiency crews of a ramjet. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Sunglider Horus A completes first flight test. AeroVironment has successfully completed the first test flight of its Horus A Sunglider. This model, designed for commercial and government customers, has upgraded high-altitude platform station capabilities for improved stratospheric performance. The Horus A is a solar-powered UAS with a 150-pound payload and a 1.5 kilowatt of power available. Compared to the original SunGlider, it features modernized avionics, redundant systems, and additional autonomy for flexibility and safety. The U.S. Army and an FAA Special Airworthiness Certificate recently gave Horus A the green light for flight testing within the national airspace. In the flight test, AV was able to monitor Horus A's system redundancy, interoperability, and performance. The aircraft also demonstrated the ability to maneuver safely in challenging weather conditions, preparing it for landings and longer missions in the stratosphere. Horus A is equipped with a satellite-based Beyond Line of Sight radio and new avionics, providing reliable communications, network extension, assured positioning, navigation and timing, space domain awareness, long endurance ISR, and deep sensing. These features will also improve the effectiveness of smaller uncrewed systems, like the company's Switchblade 600, in critical operations. After these messages, Lilium fires up first EVTOL jet. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon, www.sportplane.com. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. 
Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com. Welcome back. Lilium fires up first EVTOL jet. Lilium recently completed the first system's power up of its EVTOL jet. The successful test is a significant milestone on the path toward the aircraft's first flight and certification. 900 volts were driven to the Lilium jet and transferred to supply its low voltage electrical systems, including instruments, flight controls, communication, navigation, and related avionics. The Lilium jet features 30 battery electric motors and canard flaps that tilt downwards during hover and align flush once in cruise for improved aerodynamic performance. It has a 3-meter cabin offering various configurations to serve commercial, personal, EMS, and cargo needs. The EVTOL's fly-by-wire system integrates sensor data and pilot inputs for envelope protection and differential thrust management. The flight deck utilizes Honeywell Anthem technology. With a full charge, the Lilium jet can support cruise speeds of 154 miles per hour for a 109-mile maximum range. The system power on check was performed on Lilium's first in-production jet, the MSN-1. This aircraft is slated to be used as Lilium's official lab tester, or Ironbird. When fully operational, the MS-1 will assist in demonstrating flight safety, airworthiness compliance, and certification readiness. Lilium's second jet, the MSN-2, is in its final stages of assembly. It's intended to be the first Lilium jet to complete crewed operations, scheduled for early 2025. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.